back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. When you can't control what is happening, control the way you respond to what is happening. This is where your power is. Walk well, well, people, hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in all right. Yes, it's another beautiful Sunday. What will you think still are one? Anyway, let me tell the people that walk one power, walk one now, yeah? Holy pa kill his people still left on the road. Three pedestrian amongst five persons who were killed in motor vehicle crash during the week of September 24th to September 30th. The latest number released on Friday by the Road Safety Unit has pushed to 342 the number of people killed in 296 fatal crash since the start of the year. The figure represents a 7% reduction in fatal crash and a 4% decrease in fatalities when compared to the same period in 2021. Up to Friday, 68. Let me say that again. 68 pedestrians have been killed in traffic crash. The same number for the corresponding period last year. Pedestrians account for 20% of all road users killed. Let me say that again. 20%. Motorcyclists remains the most vulnerable group of road users with 97 killed since January 1st. Just account for... 28% of the overall numbers according to the road safety unit. 69 drivers of private motor cars also perished on the nation's street. That account for 20% of fatalities, while passengers of private motor car account for 49 deaths or 14% of road crash victims. Overall, all passengers account for 23% of fatalities. The group classified as the most vulnerable pedestrians, motorcyclists, pedal cyclists and pillions account for 55% of all road users killed this year. As of Friday, September 30th, that was Friday gone, 85% of the 342 traffic victims were male. The man them all is the one bugger to pay this. That's why the man did off one by one. Anyway, paper me can move on with the news. 16 year old St. Mary girl was on Friday arrested and charged with indecent language during a police operation and public disorder in Ochoa, St. Anne's. The teen was among several persons who were held for the offenses during the operation. At least four persons, including a 51 year old Ochoa businessman, was charged with smoking in a public place. Another seven individuals were charged with the possession of offensive weapon and one with illegal vending. The operation that lasted close to five hours was conducted along Main Street. James Avenue and Pineapple Main Road, during which over 50 vehicles, let me say that again, 50 vehicles were stopped and searched and over 80 persons searched. The court date for those charged has not yet been finalized. As soon as we get that, me and me could know, but we'll learn a bit them people. Like how me for operation. The police them said them get some new tools. Yes, them get some new tools to help them fight crime. 50 new care to be exact. So Mr. Commissioner Lane Mott, Billy Lane Mott himself, come out and attack. This is how he said. Last week, we launched Operation Relentless 2. We've already seen the benefits of that. It came on the base of a lot of planning here at the JCF and then joint planning with the JDF to roll out a scheme of tactical operations to reduce the freedom of action of some of our bad elements in the society who wish to spend their time with gunmen. So these vehicles will be deployed in the most efficient way possible to deal with that matter. And as more flow in, we will plug the gaps that exist across the country in terms of mobility. In terms of the motorcycles, those are largely going to be used for quick response. We have trained persons already and now we're just going to equip them with the necessary uh, bikes and other equipment to allow them to be effectively against and operate effectively against those persons who are looking for opportunities to harm our public. We'll be out there every day 
we're pushing straight through to the end of the year and into early next year we will be out there every day rain or shine as we are uh, protecting Jamaican people from those persons in the society who believe that their um, their good is more important than the collective good of all of us to have a safe and secure society. That was Commissioner Lee Billy Boat himself. Hold on now, people, because I'm not going to come and come tell the life and nobody understand. So, Friday after the girl, they dug at the school, many people them come out and say, Yo, oh, no, the education minister, she can't come say nothing. And they are a cost flavor one whole bit. Me, I don't know what she's not a sense either, but that is different. You understand? She actually come out come say something. So, this is what she has to say. You know, every time we, we get news of these fights and stabbing, it just tears away at us because I know within our schools, we, especially our high schools, we have deans of discipline. We have guidance counselors. I know, you know, um, persons may say we don't have enough of them, but we, are, we have increased the number of guidance counselors this year. And um, we are doing all that we can within the resources that we have. To help our children. I'm going to be reaching out to the school community. We're planning for Monday morning to be there and to speak with the school community. We have our team already out in the school speaking with students and we'll continue to provide whatever support we can for the students just to enable them to talk about the situation, about their emotions, about what it is they're feeling about the situation right now. Obviously, it's a very, very uh, sorrowful occasion for the family of the student that died, a sorrowful occasion for the school community as a whole and for Jamaica. There are metal detectors in schools. We have both the walkthrough and we have the handheld. And we have committed to buying more for schools that need them. Uh, we know that our schools conduct searches, students, at some point during the day, either when they're coming into school or random searches, uh, you know, during some point uh, during the school day. Those are some of the things that we have to continue to do as, you know, dramatic and as hard as they, harsh as they seem. That is that way that is concerned. But what you going to go down at the court? Because the man never fight over a cat. I mean, I thought the kitty cat. Actual cat, the man never fight over. And this bit over cat is said to be at the heart of a matter involving a father and a son, which is now before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. The son, who is the defendant in the matter, reportedly angered his father by insisting on having the cat inside the house. The father, who had apparently had enough, confronted his son, Gladmore Wright, about the issue and things took an ugly turn. Yes, people. The court was told that on August 14, the complainer was at home when he saw a cat in a box in the living room. The complainer indicated that he told Wright on multiple occasions that he didn't want cats in the house. His son allegedly hissed his teeth. The complainant said he took up the box and removed it from the house when Wright allegedly pushed him and started cursing. The son allegedly took up a pair of scissors from the couch. A team of police officers were called to the residence to quarrel the argument. However, shortly after they left, the complainant heard glass being scattered. It was later discovered that two doors valued at 35000 each was damaged. Wright was charged with malicious destruction of property. He pled guilty. The matter will again be mentioned on November 1st. Kept in a house. Anyways, my guy move on. Me tell you this man about Spider-Man as a Spider-Man dead. Me can't tell the Spider-Man correct name now. You understand the bird said Rachel. 62 year old. Guard card. A.K.A. Spider-Man. I in them slap where you understand. Right time we can cook shop after time go so boom and say I cook some food for the near god them yam. The same near god them slap him. The same near god them. But we have a message for the right now, you understand. From the police, Spider-Man wife and make no say watcha. Spider-Man was a good man. Tata was she have to say. He's a nice man. Very nice man. Jovel, yes. yeah, everybody likes him, even the baby. Tiny and fold, we give away everything. I would even like to talk to the person who killed him, but guess what, Mr. Woods? I know time is the master of everything. You know, it's so long, but it is very short. I'm telling you, I've worked in this community for years, and I know this is a future for me. I don't have much problem. 
from great evil to good now. One can't eat, one can't too much. And trust me, if we see something, we got to hide. Because one little criminal who's not pushed hard enough to go out more. This is our country. We need to take it back. Because every time something happens, and we throw in a blind eye, we could be the next person. We could be the next victim. One thing with me, I always up with the people, I understand. I never left it out for spite. I just never did ever put in a little clippings. So I put it in there now, and now now it for look fun. Hold on a bit there now. That video never start the program. You understand? If you don't see that video there yet, find on the self in any one of the group, and you can see. Just go in the description section, click on any one of the link, and you can slide in one of the group, and you can come come all the vibes with you over there. But I tell the some people them something now. Talk to the people them now who see the video already. People who see it for themselves. The country now in serious, serious position. You understand? When criminals just no fear no more. Them no business. You understand? And then who no really have to tell me, say, pick them up and carry them beard bars because them taxpayers' money? You must be joking. Gone are those days. Long, long, long gone. I don't want you one more police say them and pick up one more of them and carry them around to go sit down for them taxpayers' money. A matter of fact, I don't want you one more nurse and doctor say them and treat none of them my police carry up there either. I tell you no, pull the plug as them rich, you understand? One bad injection. Anyway, people, I soon come back.